a very special supermarket. The only supermarket in the world that gives you money. £2,000 is waiting on our shelves to be won by some lucky person in this store. The aim of the game is to shop smarter and faster than the next person. And everything in this supermarket is up for grabs. Go on, fill your trolley as high as you can because shopping has never been so much fun. Yes, there's prizes in store and much, much more when you play Supermarket Sweep. So let's welcome today's shoppers, who are Jenny Hammond and Karen Bellanoet from Ashford and Kent. Carol and Phil Smith from Warsaw and Birmingham. And Peter Rawlingson and Brian Chattel from London and Huntingdon. You're all on Supermarket Sweep. And here's your host, Dale Winton. Good morning. Welcome to Supermarket Sweep and good morning, shoppers. Good morning, Dale. I'm feeling really energetic. I'm feeling full of it today, I really am. You know why? Because somewhere out there in the supermarket, hidden is £2,000. <laughs> Are you going home with it? Yes. yes. I hope so. I hope so. What? Pardon? You were first. What, what our teams have to do is prove how much they know about shopping and general knowledge and anything to do with food and things you get in the supermarket. For every correct answer, I'll give them 10 seconds. The more time they have, the more shopping they can do. So to start you all, let me give you a minute apiece. There you go. And we'll run our mini sweep. Here's your chance to add an instant 10 seconds and possibly £25 to your subtotal at the end. If you're ready, let's do the mini sweep. What am I looking for? An ideal hot snack in front of the television. A favourite takeaway that is thin and crispy and nearly always what, Brian? Pizza. Sounds good. <laughs> well, you see, it says here, nearly always covered with mozzarella and tomato, so it's actually a cheese and tomato pizza oh, I'm after oh. here, Brian. So I'll give you 10 seconds. So really, you're, Pete, you're going to have to run the sweep. Are you ready? Somewhere out there is the cheese and tomato pizza bearing the sweet logo. If you bring it to me within 30 seconds, I'll also give you £25 to subtotal. Go! Go, 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 go! Go on, pizza! <laughs> go on, pizza! <laughs> Peter. There's something missing off this pizza, mm. Peter. Oh, no! Oh, yes! Oh, yes! <laughs> oh, no. Where's the sweet lo- I'm sorry, Pete. Oh, no! I'm, no, I'm being- no, this morning, no. No, I'm sorry, but no, I'm not giving you the money. Oh, You've got the ten second- no, go and join oh. Brian while we meet the other players. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm right, aren't I? Oh, yes, I'm so right, aren't I? I mean, yeah, you know, yeah. you'd have brought me the one with the, with the, with the, oh, the logo. Would. Of course yeah. you would. Morning, Karen. Morning, Jenny. Good morning, now, Bill. You're the one that likes Prisoner Cell Block oh, H yeah, and, the, and, and all the quiz shows. Yes, especially, so, uh, like, um, I love things like morning quizzes. Um, like this one? Yeah, like this one. Of course this one. Win, lose or draw. I like. Oh, Shane Ritchie. Yeah. Beat Shane him up. Beat him up with a stick. Oh, no, he's wonderful. What no, other he's things he says about you? Oh, well, I know. A show business legend. A star of Greece. Now he's one. You must go and see him in Greece. He's brilliant yeah. in Greece. Oh, he's great. He's great. Jenny, how do you know this reprobate here? How do you know her? Uh, I know when she comes to work. With really? Us. We work for a while. Yeah. Now I know that Karen says it. Karen can hold a conversation in her sleep. Oh yeah. Isn't that amazing what people hold in their sleep? <laughs> <laughs> good luck today on Supermarket Sweep. Thanks, good to sir. see Thanks, you. Sir. Phil and Carol. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. morning. Lovely to see you both. Um, <laughs> love this one. His ill-fitting dentures. Mine. <laughs> so honest. Once became airborne at a football match. That's right. When he became excited. That's right. He scored a goal. He scored a goal. That's right. Yeah. They don't look like dentures. Do they? <laughs> no, no. They're very. They're good ones, aren't That's they? Right, they're yes. really good. <laughs> and um, oh, this is great, Carol. You are a one. <laughs> oh, you're a one. When she was six months oh, pregnant. No. Oh no, oh, she yes. says. <laughs> they went to the pictures. Walking through the car park, she slipped on the ice. Her husband fell on top yeah, of her, and people walked past ignoring him, let him get on with it. <laughs> let him get on with it. He was on top of me, he got was his hand in my pocket, that's and right. he couldn't get it out. <laughs> his hand out of my pocket. <laughs> what is she like? <laughs> I 
<laughs> Good luck on sweet. Thank you. <laughs> what a terrible start. Oh, no. <laughs> what a terrible start. Peter and Peter and Brian. Good morning. morning. Well, I know Peter, you work as a health was a health and health promotion officer. That's right, yeah. Well, it was a very healthy run, but uh, <laughs> not an effective one, it has to be said. <laughs> no, no. Please. But it's good to see you. Here. Good to see you, though. Brian, we have something in common, don't we? We do, Dale, yes. Yeah, we both like dreadful shirts. No, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. No, no, no. It's, it's, the, uh, it's, it's the soap operas. It is, yes. The Knott's Landing is the one. Knott's Landing yeah. is one of my favourites. I'm very worried about Valine. Valine. I know, oh, I know. She hasn't had... Gary? Well, more to the point, she usually cries every week. She hasn't cried for two weeks. It's very worrying. <laughs> She's too happy. She's off for Wimbledon, I think. She's off for Wimbledon, that's right. <laughs> anyway, good to see you both. I wish you lots and lots of luck with the suite. And we will say goodbye to them for the moment to Brian, Carol and Karen. We'll see you later for a game. But Jenny, Phil and Peter, step forward. Let's play a game. <laughs> right, let's get straight to it. Let's try and get some seconds on those clocks in a game we call Alphabet Soup. Here's the deal. I'm going to give you four letters, and then I'll give you a clue. The answer relates to one of those letters, and I'll tell you what the letter is before I give you the clue. Buzz in when you think you know what it is. Here are your letters. A, B, C, D. This one's an alcoholic drink made from apples. It can be dry or sweet, Jenny. Cider. Cider sounds good to me. <laughs> this one begins with an A. What is the distinctive flavour of the drink Ouzo and Perma? Peter. Aniseed. Aniseed's right. Ten seconds. Well done. <laughs> and one beginning with a B. A small, soft fruit that's red or black in colour, it grows wild and is especially good cooked with apple in a pie or as a what, Jenny? Berry. I need Black a fuller berry. answer. Blackberry is the one I'm looking for, 10 seconds. <laughs> and here's your last one in the alphabet soup and this one begins with a D. A small round cake made from yeast. It's deep fried and sprinkled with sugar. What is it? Donuts. It's my favourite, yeah, absolutely, 10 seconds. Right, let's play another game. This one's one we call Random Reveal. Quite a good game, because what happens is I do give you the answer, but I only reveal to you one, one letter of that answer at a time at random. But I will supplement it with an initial clue. If you're ready, let's play. Here's your first clue. Cooking toffee. Let's have a letter. S. L. Y. Jenny. Golden syrup. Golden syrup's right. Ten seconds. Well done. See, the thing about this game is sometimes it pays to wait till you get more letters. That could have been anything, couldn't it? Well done, though, Jenny. Ten seconds there. Here's another one for you. Delicate dough. Letter. P. Y. A. R. P. Peter. Puff pastry. Absolutely right. Ten seconds. You were hovering there for a moment. <laughs> you see that? He was saying, shall I go for it? Shall I go for it? And you did at the right moment. I've just got one word to say to you. Amorous. Let's have a letter. R. F. T. P. N. Phil. Passion fruit, Dale. Passion fruit, absolutely right. Ten seconds. <laughs> and here's your last one in this game. With rice. Let's have a letter. E. C. F. Jenny. Beef curry. Beef curry sounds right. Ten seconds. Well done. Let's bring back your partners. <laughs> Hello, you. Well, let's have a look at what you did while your partners were away. Uh, the clocks look like this at the moment. Carol and Phil, one minute and ten seconds. But Brian and Peter and Karen and Jenny tying on one minute and forty. <laughs> Jenny, Phil and Pete will see you later on for the round robin, but returning players step forward, let's play a game now. We call this one phrases and sayings. I'm going to give you a quote and miss out one of the words. I'll replace it with a word blank. Simply buzz in when you think you know what the word is. An example might be, if I were to say to you, don't cry over spilt blank, you'd buzz in and say milk. Don't cry over spilt milk. Get the idea? Here we go. Here's your first one. Man doth not live by blank, uh, what, Karen? Bread. Bread's absolutely right. Man doth not live by bread alone. <laughs> Ten seconds. He couldn't catch anything. He was known as blank. Karen. Butterfingers. Absolutely right. Ten seconds. You're good at this one. 
He was so full of life, he was full of blank. Karen. Beans. Beans. That's right, 10 seconds. They're smiling in the face of adversity here. You're doing very well on this particular round. Words may flatter, but fine words butter no blank. Carol. Is it bread? No, it's not bread. It's one of those you either know it or you don't know it. Brian? Man. No. Do you want to have a go, Karen? Words may flatter, but fine words butter no. No, ah. still time. It's a strange one, I grant you. Words may flatter, but fine words butter no parsnips. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bewildered looks all around. Now, I knew that one, actually. Did you not know that one? It's quite, it's quite an old, ancient one. Never mind. Let's have a look at those clocks. Well, at the moment, Carol, you have one minute and ten seconds. Brian, you have one minute and forty. And, Je and Karen, you have two minutes and ten seconds. <laughs> I've been out to the supermarket early this morning and I've got these three beauties just for you. Have a look at what I've got. I've got dog food, I've got baked beans, and I've got brown sauce. Now, if I add the price of all of these three together, would I sell it to you for more than £1.50 or less than £1.50? So when you add the price of all these three together, is it higher or lower than £1.50? Please make your choice. Vote higher or lower. Karen, what's it to be, higher or lower? Lower, Bill. You said lower. Okay, and Carol? I said higher, Dale. You said higher. And Brian? Uh, lower, Dale. You said lower. Right, we'll do our sums, shall we? The dog food is 65 pence. The baked beans are 21 pence. And the sauce is 49 pence. When you add that together, it is £1.35. So the answer I was looking for is lower, which means that Karen and Brian, you both added 10 seconds to your clocks. Well done. <laughs> Let's bring back your partners. <laughs> This is the game we call the Round Robin. And before we go into that, let me tell you what time you have on your clocks, because there's a final minute to go for in this particular game. Phil and Carol, you have a minute and ten. Peter and Brian, you have one minute and fifty. And Jenny and Karen, you have two minutes and twenty. However, there is a full minute on offer, which means, Phil and Carol, it's perfect time for you to catch up. You can do it. I know you can do it. Are you going to? Yeah. Good. So. Phil, step forward, along with Jenny and Peter. Returning players, you are going to go first. In the game we call the Round Robin, take it in turns to give you a correct answer. In the game we call Gossip, I'm going to give you a quote or ask you a fact about a famous person. Simply buzz in when you think you know the answer. Here's your first one. David Copperfield has been dating which famous supermodel? Peter. That's a good way of saying it. It's right. Ten seconds. Change. <laughs> Whose real name is Elaine Bookbinder and she had hits with Lilac Wine and Fool if you... Brian. Um, Elkie Brooks. Sounds right. It's here. Ten seconds. Change. Prince Philip collects what of himself and then pins them to the toilet wall. That's a strange one, isn't it? Peter. Photos. No, that's not the answer I'm looking for. He collects something and pins them against the toilet wall. There's still time. You were close, Peter, with photos. The answer I was looking for was cartoons. Change. Let's have another one. Which TV chat show host was physically attacked? In fact, she hit him with a handbag, as I seem to remember. Karen. Michael Archibald? No, it wasn't. Well, they might have deserved it. <laughs> Anybody else? Um, Brian. Wogan. No, that's no. not the answer I'm looking at. Yes, it's worth a guess if you want to have a go. I can't think of one. You can't think of one. <laughs> it's still time until the klaxon goes. <laughs> it's gone. Actually, it was Russell Harty. Change. Let's have another one. Elizabeth Taylor married one man more than once. Name him. <laughs> Phil. Richard Burton. That's right. <laughs> Ten seconds. Change. And here's your last one. Jerry Hall is married to which singer? Carol. Mick. Yes, 10 seconds. It's looking a bit better now, isn't it? Isn't it a little bit, she said. Right, let's have a look at the clocks and see how much time you're taking with you out there into the market. Phil and Carol, you have one minute and 30. Peter and Brian, you have two minutes and 10. And Jenny and Karen, two minutes and 20. So tell me, which one of each team is going to be running this week? Karen, Carol and Peter. Good luck. Come back in a few moments as we watch those three running wild through the aisles, hopefully with the chance to take home the £2,000. And it has to be no other place than here on Supermarket Sweep. <laughs>
I just hate it when your work gets in the way. As I said, I'm sorry. It's inconvenient, that's all. I could do without researching in Scotland. Least of all with a man I don't like. You can tell me you're going with a man. You've arrived awfully late. Sorry. We had a little trouble with the map. Oh, look at you. Now, can I get you something to drink? Do you have gold blend? Rich coffee aroma, smooth coffee flavor. Nescafe Gold Blend. Wonderful. For once, I agree. Now, your room is ready when you are. It's a fact that nine out of ten people still aren't eating enough fiber. So it's worth knowing that in every bowl of Kellogg's All Brand, there's about as much fiber as you'd find in nine nutritious slices of brown bread. Kellogg's All Brand, a great fiber provider. You had goulash on Wednesday, and you still ain't tried new surf. How can you tell? Obvious. There is a saying, the longer you caress the dough, the lighter and crisper the pizza. Inspired by this, we created San Marco. Dirt and germs around the house can give you that unsettling feeling. Ordinary cleaners may remove dirt, but what about germs? Domestos Multi-Surface Cleaner is a deep-down cleaner that not only removes grease and dirt, but unlike ordinary cleaners, goes deeper, killing germs too. Its thick, rich liquid removes tough, greasy stains and wipes out germs. So for peace of mind, Domestos Multi-Surface Cleaner for deep-down home protection. If you've got kids and you want to go out to work, with the money you have to fork out for childcare, can you afford to? Well, don't worry. Because if you work 16 hours a week or more and you pay childcare charges, these can now be taken into account in some of your benefits. So, for more information about new help with childcare charges, phone free on 0800 884411. If you've got kids and you want to go out to work, can you afford not to? Life is tough. New Link's system, deodorant for sensitive skin, is easy. Mama's secret for a real cream Montanara sauce is... Okay, Mama, it's a secret! According to Vogue magazine, I found the best ever hair care product. I expect you have too. Welcome back to Supermarket Sweep. Earlier we saw our teams build up those minutes and seconds on their clocks. We now know exactly how much time they have to go wild in the aisles. And how well will they do? Well, I wonder. Let's have a look at those clocks. Karen and Jenny, you're going first with two minutes and 20 seconds, followed very swiftly ten seconds later by Peter and Brian, and then Carol and Phil with one minute. I want those shelves cleared today. We're doing a stock take tomorrow. I've got to <laughs> polish them. I want everything off those shelves. The whole supermarket is at your disposal. Don't forget those inflatable bonuses, worth between 25 and 100 pounds a piece, but a penalty if you pick up two. The other thing is, I have a shopping list. If you bring me back one of all of these, I will give 100 pounds to your subtotal. Here is today's shopping list. A jar of chocolate spread, a children's toy fire engine, and a packet of frozen mixed veg, okay? A packet of frozen mixed vegetables. The other thing is, there's also a pick and mix section. If you manage to stop, weigh out half a pound exactly in weight of five varieties of sweets, I will add 50 pounds to your subtotal, okay? Are you ready to go shopping? Yes, yep. Phil. Yeah. Good. You're going to go first. I'm going to count you in. Three, two, one, go! Go, Karen! Karen goes careering into the market with just a small 10-second advantage over the others. No trolley looking for Dale's shopping list items, and it's a packet of frozen mixed veg there for her. As Peter gets away for the blue team, he's cleaning up with the soap powder, and it's a guitar bonus there for Karen. Away she goes, picking up the bonuses before she goes out to shop with the trolley. Whoa, and it's nearly down the pan for Peter, in amongst the toilet rolls. As he careers around the corner, whoops, there he mind, Karen. Could have been a nasty moment there. Now they're looking for the jar of chocolate spread on Dale's shopping list. Come on, it's in there somewhere. It's definitely there. He's given it up as a bad job. And away goes Peter. 
They couldn't find that jar of chocolate sauce. Ah, but it's alarm bells ringing there for Garrett as she picks up the toy fire engine. It's back to base, bit of encouragement there for Phil, for Carol as they get away for the yellow team. And Carol's gone straight for the cheeses. One, two, three of those, and some CDs. This will be music to Phil's ears. That's her husband, of course. And there in the frozen foods is Peter. One, two, three of everything. In there and round the corner. Still looking for that jar of chocolate spread there is Karen. Come on, Karen. Oh, she says, it's a shame, it's a hard life. I think she was headed for the CDs instead. Round the corner with a full trolley now, here's Peter. Enough room for some beers and some lagers. And it's kitchen utensils for Carol. Pile him in the trolley there. And here's Karen, she's still looking for that chocolate spread. It's on the end of the shelf, I think she's walked straight past it. Videos there for Carol, and off towards the famous supermarket sweet turkeys. How's Karen doing? Not too bad. Island and Appy's in there. Peter had a good pit stop there, and he's got the toy fire engine. Yes, he likes karate, apparently, this old Peter. He was chopping into the shopping list items there. As we pick up the action with Carol going down by the fruit veg, and now Peter's up that end of the market as well. And he's looking for that packet of mixed frozen veg. He's got them. Well done. Second sticking away, and it's back to Dale. You're right, Carol. That was wonderful. Thank you, Bobby, for taking us through that. That was a wonderful sweep, wasn't it? Well done, Peter. Uh, we're going to run all these groceries through the checkout to find out just who's going to go for the super sweep. Grab a pen and paper, because coming up is our viewer's question. In the meantime, let's let Caroline, Emma, and Vanessa run all these groceries through the checkout and to find out just who's going to go through for the super sweep. Let's add them up now. So when they've found a winner, I'll toast them with these champagne cocktails. This is champagne and orange, and this is champagne and cassis. What we want you to tell us is which one of these is known as Buck's Fizz. Is it the champagne and orange or champagne and cassis? If you think Buck's Fizz is champagne and orange, call on 0891 665522. But if you think it's the champagne and cassis, then call 0891 665533. Cheers and good luck. Thank you, Jane. Now, I really am confused. I thought Bucks Fizz was an 80s pop band. No, I know, really. But more importantly, do you? If you do, dial Dale right now and be a winner. First correct answer picked at random will win £250, with five runners-up, each receiving the Supermarket Suite watch. And don't forget, if you ring, don't win, but are still logged with the right answer, you go into our draw for the end of the series, possibility of winning a brand. So give us a call now, dial Dale. OK, let's have a look at that shopping. Carol and Phil. Looks like you did really well. Carol, what did you get there? What's the bonus worth? Let's have a look at that. Oh, I can't get it off. 100 pounds. Yeah! Mm -hmm. okay. Shopping list, Phil. One only, I'm afraid, Dale. One only item. Oh, dear, pick and mix. No, sorry. No, OK. So you've got a subtotal of 100. We'll add it together with the value of the goods in your trolley, which gives you a grand total of 288 pounds. That's good. In a minute and a half. Great. Brian and Peter. How well did you do? What's your bonus fish worth there? 75 pounds. 75. Though. Well done. Thank you. Peter, is that a full shopping list? No chocolate spread. Oh, dear. Any pick and mix? No, no. Oh, Peter. <laughs> OK, so you've got a subtotal of 75. We'll run it together with the value of the goods in your trolley, which gives you a total today of 233. You did well, though. <laughs> did well. Jenny and Karen, with a very sorry-looking guitar there. I don't know what you've done to it there, Jenny. <laughs> Go on, I want it for 25. 25 pounds. <laughs> Karen, is that a Sorry full shopping deal. list? No, it's not. Just a fire engine in this. And uh, it's making a noise now, actually, isn't it? Any pick and mix? No, sorry, didn't manage that either. OK, so you've got a subtotal of 25 for the guitar. Mm. Let's run it together with the value of the goods in your trolley, which gives you a grand total. Incidentally, if it's more than the other 285, uh, 288, you'll be going for the super sweep. She's shaking her head. No, it can't be. No. And if it isn't, then you will be running it. Let me tell you, when we add your subtotal of 25 together with the value of the goods in your trolley, you have a grand total of 129. <laughs> Not a bad shot. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Carol and Phil, you're running the Super Street. Brian and Peter, Jenny and Karen, thanks for being great shoppers. Have a good day. Who would have thought it? Who would have thought it with one and a half minutes? Let's do it now, shall we? 
Do you I've got no, I'm, I've got I'm, no I'm boiling about I'm, I'm <laughs> nervous for you. Here's your clue. Don't forget, you have to solve the clues that will lead you to the three specially marked products. Do it within a minute. You've cracked it. You're going to go home with the money? I hope so. Yeah. You are. <laughs> Listen carefully. Take your time. White fish in a creamy green herb mixture, of course. A favourite of many. Cod steaks in... Oh, it is. Go, go, go. <laughs> So how far did you get? Because you were rushing around. I got no one. You couldn't find the first clue. Oh dear. Oh, I'm sorry. But listen, you've been great shoppers today. May I let you go home with the value of the goods in your trolley? Lovely. <laughs> Lovely. Give us a kiss. Oh, she's fab. Listen, that takes care of another day on the supermarket sweep. Listen, join us next time. Maybe we'll have a winner. And always remember, next time you're at the checkout and you hear the beep, think of the fun you could be having on supermarket sweep. Have a good day. The answer to yesterday's viewers competition was A, and congratulations to our winner Tracy Bynes of Cardiff.